Hello everyone, this is Hassan again and welcome to lecture 12 of our Scratch game programming tutorial. So lecture 12 will be um, on Flappy Bird game. You all know about the famous Flappy Bird game. But uh, what I will be trying to do uh, is that I'm going to show you two different approaches. So lecture 12 will be a simple approach part 1 and lecture 13 you'll have part 2 then we are going to have lecture 14 and 15 where I'll be showing you an advanced approach to design Flappy Bird game and for the first approach I'm going to use a bat instead of a bird and then for the second one I'm going to use a parrot Alright, so let's get started. So this is our lecture 12, Flappy Bird. Uh, let's call it Flappy Bat. Flappy Bat. So I don't want the cat. Let's delete the cat. So what I am going to have is a bat. So I can choose one of these. Let's choose bat 2. So what I want the bat to start from here and I want the pipes to be coming from the left hand side okay so let's change the backdrop first so let's get a backdrop from the internet uh, Actually, um, for advanced gaming option, we'll use we'll download a very nice background from the internet. But for now, just choose one from here. Let's see which one we can choose. Let's say city with water. Alright, so I have this backdrop, city with water, and I have my bat. So let's shrink the bat. So what I want on the bat to start from here, and the pipes will be coming from here. So a pipe is also a sprite. Remember, everything that is moving and we are trying to do something is a sprite. Okay, so let's paint a sprite. So you're trying to make a pipe. So to make a pipe, first you have to choose an option called rectangle. After choosing rectangle, you can see you have solid or you have non-solid option. Okay, so if we if I choose solid and if I try and if I try to draw this, you see there is a solid bar pipe coming, right? If you want something hollow, you can choose this one, and for this one, you can see you have something like this, and then you can um, choose a color inside. So let's choose a color, let's say uh, to be deep blue, and I'm choosing solid option. And let's draw the pipe. We can modify the pipe for, for this one. We just want to use a simple one. So this is our uh, pipe. So I can see my pipe is here. I can move the pipe over here. So what I want is that the pipe should be coming from the left hand side towards the bat, right? And also, um, I need a hole, right? So let's make the hole. So for that, you need to choose the option select, and then uh, choose a portion in the left. Mouse click, and then leave the right um, left mouse, and then click backspace. I click backspace I can see I have 
the gap. Let's uh, try something. Let's see if my bat can fit inside this one. So I can see it can barely fit inside. So let's shrink the bat. Okay, now I can see it fits easily. Alright, so I have my bat, I have my pipe. So the pipe should be coming towards me, right? So let's change this name to pipe. So I have this pipe and the pipe should come towards me. So I click on the pipe and then, then I go to scripts. So events. So when flag is clicked, I want the pipe to come towards me. So the pipe is going from left to right. So if you remember that for left to right, we need to use this move 10 steps or change it to move 3 steps. So if you use this block, that means the pipe will be moving from left to right, correct? But you want to move it forever, so obviously you need a forever block. So and that's it. So let's see if my pipe is moving or not. So I can see the pipe is coming towards me and my bat can easily escape it. So I need to program my bat now, right? There is another problem, so remember if you don't uh, set the position, it will, the pipe will not start from this side. Okay, so I have to set the position. So I keep my pipe here and let's look at the position. So the position is x negative 165 and y is negative 3. So now the position is set. So now I can see that it's okay. 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 So I programmed the pipe. So now I have to program the bat. So how can I program the bat? There are several ways that you can program your bat. So remember, if you know the Flappy Bird game, what happens is that uh, the bird keeps falling. So if you want to make this happen that means the bat will keep falling what you need to do so if something is falling it's falling due to what if you have studied gravity in your science you know that everything we have on the ground is attracted by our planet due to gravity right so if you jump you know that you fall why because of gravity so same thing will happen to this bat. So the bat will keep falling, but you can control. <clears throat> so let's um, say that when you start, the bat keeps falling. So falling means, remember, um, moving up and down is the change of y. So that means it will be change of y, and because it's falling continuously, so I need a forever block. So I have to say change y by let's say 5. So when you start the battle keep falling. Remember I didn't set the position yet. So, so it's going up. So I forgot that it should be negative, right? I think we should put negative 3. Okay, so falling down is negative and going up is positive. And I want the bed to start from this position, so I go to motion and I know that the position is 170 and 65. So I want the bed to start from here. So let's see what happens now. You can see my bed is keep falling. Another uh, thing I want to add is the bed doesn't look like real, so it's not flapping its wings. So let's activate that. So I think I, uh, I showed you earlier how can you do that. So if you go to costume, you see there are two costumes, right? And if we switch between these two costumes, it will look like that our bat is flapping its wings, right? So let's do that. So uh, when flag starts or flag is clicked, 
I want to switch costumes, right? So I'm gonna use next costume. So next costume means bad to be. That's the next costume, right? Okay, so uh, we want to do that continuously. And remember, we need quick block. If we don't have weight, it will change very quickly. So we have 0 0.2. Let's see what happens. That's good, right? So the bat is keep falling and the pipe is coming. Right, so now what I want is control the bat. So when you press space, I want the bat to move up, right? So you can activate uh, with any other switch. So you can see a list of. You can use any of them, but it's usually space is better. It's big. So let's see the space. When you press space, what should happen? You should move up. Remember, your bat is keep falling. So in order to prevent that, you need to press space. So every time you press space, your bat will move up. But move up by how many steps so that depends on you if you want to make the game difficult you can choose um, small value or large value Depend it depends on your game so let's just choose something so remember you are going up so obviously this is change of y so every time you press space uh, let's say change it by 20 let's see what happens so I can see if I press space, it's moving up slowly, right? It keeps falling. And if I press space, it moves up, right? Okay. So so far so good. So now um, there are several other problems that we need to solve. So now we can <coughs> control the bat, but there is no score yet. So when you want to change the score when you pass the pipe, that's one thing. Another thing we want to repeat the movement of the pipe. So when the pipe comes on the right side, then let's say at here. So when the pipe is here, we want this pipe to automatically go back to the previous position and keep doing this again and again and also we want the hole to appear at different positions so you don't want to see the hole in the middle every time right we want to see the hole like here or we want to see the hole right here so that will be more challenging right so we'll do that uh, in our next lecture. So for now, just add a score. If you remember, we need to go to data, make a variable, name it score. So I can see the score. If you double click on the score, you can see we have this view. If you click this again, we have a slide view. So which one you want to keep, that's up to you. I like uh, this one. So now initially the score is zero. So I want to set the score zero. So when the game starts, the score will be zero. All right. So now um, next lecture we will have those options. So that's it for today's class. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.